hey everyone welcome back to the channel this is rahul in today's video we will solve an interesting problem called number of substrings containing all three characters in this video we will first understand the problem then we will go through different approaches that we can use here finally we will write one optimized java solution using the slide window technique and at last we will analyze the time and space complexity stick around till the end because it will be super cool let's get started so here is the problem we have a string s containing of only three characters a b and c we need to find the number of substrings that contain at least one occurrence of each character which means it contains a b uh, a b c a b c a like that whatever having these three characters we have to make substring with this input okay so um, it's somewhat easy only but same time we have to make it precise and uh, less complex so first i tried that brute force approach actually it's simple but as you know it's inefficient to solve this problem it means it generate all substring using two loops we will use nested loop here then uh, so we will check if each uh, substring contains a b and c at least once and we have to count such substrings so as we are using two nested loops it took big of n square time complexity and space complexity is big of what we generate all substrings big of n square uh, time complexity which make it inefficient then we check each substring for a b and c c which uh, the nested loop make it slow so that's why we need a better approach so let's optimize it using the sliding window technique instead of checking all substrings we can track the latest positions of a b and c while expanding a sliding window here first of all we have to use an array of size 3 to store the last occurrence index of each character in abc of 0 last index of a abc of 1 last index of, index of b abc of 2 last index of c then we traverse the string updating the latest index for each character then at every step we have to find the leftmost occurrence among a b and c then we have to count the valid um, substring ending at the current index is minimum index plus one and we have to sum all the counts that's the thing we have to do here so i hope you understand what you what we have to do in this coding part the idea that i gave now we we can write one code which is the efficient one so first of all we have to convert the string to character array Now we need one array to track the last occurrence of A, B and C. So I will name it as A, B, C. New window of 3. So it is a fixed array. No need of any more size. Now we need to initialize all values to um, minus one, which mean which indicating no occurrence form yet. For die is equal to zero, I less than 
dot length I plus plus minus one okay once this done we have to um, create two variables one to count the sub substrings and another for pointing int count is equal to zero all right is equal to zero okay once this done we had to iterate through the string using the right pointer while all right less than cs dot length we have to update the last occurrence of the current character now abc ch of right a is equal to right once this done now we need to find the minimum index among a b and c so first for that we will assign the uh, min index with the max value integer dot max value int min index is equal to um, integer dot max value okay now we need to um, find the minimum among this for that we will use for loop int i is equal to 0 i less than 3 i plus plus We will update min index now. Mat dot min min index or abc of i. Once this done, we need to um, go for next which means if all three characters have been found then we have to count the substring so count min index plus one now we need to move to the next character <laughs> means we have to uh, shift the pointer to right okay that's it we have to return our count so let's run this code now mm. oh sorry Yeah, it's working fine so here the time and space complexity is for time complexity since we traverse the string once using the while loop it takes big of n find the minimum index takes uh, constant time big of three so the thing is big of one only so overall time complexity is big of n which is much better than the big of n square All right in case of space complexity since we use only fixed size array that is size of 3 it is big of 1 only so space complexity is big of 1 and time complexity is big of n let's submit this code yeah it's working fine 
So we solve the problem using an efficient sliding window approach. Since brute force was too slow, we optimized it to big of n. Used a simple array to track occurrence and count valid substrate. I hope this explanation made sense. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more DSA content. Let me know in comments if you have any questions. See you in the next one. Till that, happy coding.